Hey, we've had you here before as part of AREA, but now we have you here because you are one of the runners that has an Ashland bib for the Boston Marathon. Yes. <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, so what made you decide to take a number and run the Boston Marathon this year? Wow. Uh, well, first of all, thanks, Yolanda, for having me here. Thanks, Worker TV. Um, very excited to be here and share my story and hopefully inspire others. Um, well, being an Ashland resident for almost 20 years and watching the marathon, it literally just became a part of our family events to look forward to. But from watching that, I caught the bug. What they call it? <laughs> and having also run when I was, you know, younger in school and high school and all this, I, so it, I, it was easy to get back there. So, and then also with my kids, sometimes in the summertime, I like to rest with them. You know, these days they beat me. I'm not as fast. <laughs> uh, but uh, basically, uh, when, the, when the opportunity came, I was like, every, every single year, I, I kept telling my kids, I'm going to run the marathon one day. I'm going to run the marathon one day. And they're like, Mom, you say that every year now. We're, like, it's old. <laughs> so this past year, you know, I was like, you know what, let me... Let me just do it. Uh, running is something that also helps me physically and mentally. I think some people can relate. Some people yep. like boxing. Don't yep. you do some yep. boxing? I've, I've, yep. I've yeah, I've started working out at uppercuts. Yeah, yeah. So that's some of it's it's my thing. What, running, I'm not very fast. Like even jogging, um, it's something that I feel like you know it puts me in a different place. So when this opportunity came up, I. Um, I did uh, ask around, and I think I spoke to Brandy. I'm like, I want to run. How do I get a number? Yeah. And Brandy is like, you should, you know, give me, help me out. Told yeah. me you need to, you know, apply. apply yeah. And okay, so I did all that. I was nervous. <laughs> yeah. But then, uh, gladly, I was uh, selected. Selected. Yes. <laughs> so I, um, the email came, and I read the email. I'm like, wait. This is real now. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, yes. I think I spent maybe a day. I can't remember. Then I responded back. Yeah. I'm like, yes, I accept. Uh, nice. Then uh, training, you know, I had some other medical issues. So I waited on training a little bit. Okay. But um, knowing that I had a short time to train, I made a goal. I told myself, okay, by this month, you must be at these miles to be able to catch up with yep. others. Yep. I joined some face group, you know, groups. Yep. Yeah, like Team, team Framingham. They yep. have, like, they seem so organized, like, these yep. guys. So I started learning from them and what they're doing. So I, I knew that at a certain time, I need to be at these miles, yep. be at these miles to be able to, you know, yeah, to, make it. To make it in yeah. April. Yeah. And so let, let's go back a little yeah. bit. So you did run when you were younger. It was, a, did yeah, you compete like, in high school or you just ran for fun? I did compete, but not, not fast, like cross country. Okay. When I was younger, maybe 10, 11, we used to do that. Is it a hundred meters? Okay. You know, when you're young, like teenager, yeah. freshman, then I did cross country. Okay. Nothing. Nothing like the nothing, Boston Marathon. Nothing quite this long. Not, not a marathon long. Life. Not a marathon. Did you do any so, 5Ks or 10Ks along the way, or you just mm -hmm. said, okay, I'm just mm -hmm. going for it? Uh, nope. <laughs> I just said I'm going for it. And after that, I hear people talking about the Boston Marathon. They're like, it's one of the hardest. It's one. I'm like, well, I'm, I'm in it now. I just have to train. Yep. And I told myself, you know, you're going to have fun. Yep. And just try to finish under six hours. But having fun is the most important okay. for me. And so, so one of the things when you run with an Ashland number is you have to raise funds. Yes. You commit to raising three thousand dollars, and that goes to our Boston Athletic program, where yes. we give out grants to different community, different events, and things in town. Right. So you're sort of helping yourself because Area has gotten a grant before. Absolutely. What are you doing to raise funds to meet that three thousand dollars? 
Yeah, actually, going back real quick. Sure. I, when I decided to say I'm going to run, I asked Brandy, I'm like, I'd like to run. I'd also raise money for area. Yeah. She's like, no, you run for the town, right. and then the money right. goes to, right. you know, right. different programs, including areas. Like, right. okay, let's do it. <laughs> so uh, now moving forward to answer your question, um, I'm one of the, I think, the most fun things that I've discovered with the fundraising is actually I'm running, okay, I'm doing something that I enjoy, but then giving back. Yep. It's been so it's been so fun. Yeah. It has its challenges, but it's been so fun. So fundraising, uh, we have been fundraising, Ashland requires you to fundraise like three thousand. Yep. So I was a little bit nervous about that. But uh Brandy encouraged me and they're like, no, you think you'll do fine. You'll yeah. get it. Yeah. So and I was like, okay. So right away, I looked at, you know, of course, what are the programs that are funded? Mm -hmm. And wow, what this money, and I mean, I'm going to put in my pitch at the end, guys, fundraise, (laughs) but this money supports local program, Ashland's local programs and services that are really important to our town and make it what it is. Uh, We all fall on hard times. You know, I've been been in difficult, you know, positions before and... uh, I've been helped out. Yep. So this came as like a, a plus on icing on the cake to be able to fundraise for my town that yeah. I love. And some of the programs like the food pantry, you know, yeah. a lot of food insecurities um, and helping people out when they're in a tough spot, yeah. to help, you know, that will be able to help themselves yeah. get back up. Um, Ashland Emergency Fund, um, which also... Uh, It helps temporary, you know, it offers financial assistance Assistance temporarily for people who need it. it. Uh, You know, the house has burnt down or, you know, they need some rent or gas for for a little bit as they figure things out. Um, I've discovered, basically running for marathon, I found out other, where all these monies go. And I'm I'm like humbled to be a part of this. Um, Should I just, I would like to talk a little bit more of other programs as well? Uh, let's oh, let's talk a little bit more about you, because I think okay. <laughs> I, I think it's, okay. it, it helps people understand a little bit. Other than these programs that you're learning about and yeah. you're, you, you were excited to be running, is there something that said to you, I have to do this? You talked okay. about how you've watched yes. the marathon, and yeah. I mean, I've watched the marathon, but it's never said to me, <laughs> I need to run that. So... <laughs> What 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 was the moment when you said, okay, I'm going to do this? Well, great question. Uh, I think just having been a runner kind of before, like I said, mm-hmm. but then also having watched it with my kids. Yep. I wanted to, you know, when they say something, it scares you. It's something scary. It's so big, it scares you. Yep. It did. But I just felt the urge, like, this is something I, I think I want to accomplish for yeah. me. I just yeah. want to accomplish it. And also for my kids, like, uh, uh, to inspire them that, you know what, if you want something, you go for it, you work hard, yeah. you actually can achieve it. <laughs> so so, let, so let's, let's talk a little bit about that. So you're, you've been in town for 20 years. Yeah. How many children do you have? I have four. Okay, um, and what are their ages? My son, Ben, 24 years old. Mm-hmm. Uh, Patrice, 20, and maybe 17. Yep. And my last one is uh, Meg, who is 11. Wow. Uh, so it's it's quite interesting. About a couple of years ago, I think right after COVID, when they had canceled the marathon, that was mm-hmm. the first time, I think. Yeah. Uh, I was at the, one of the little things we usually do with my kids is we go to the uh, start line in Hopkinton yep. Yep. the night before. There's a lot of fever and energy. Yeah, and, yeah there's uh, a lot of energy the yes, night before. Yes. <laughs> so I usually just drive there and park and just enjoy it and talk to the runners with my kids. So that's yep. something we had done, you know, a few times. Yep. Uh, when the marathon is done here in Ashland, we drive and follow it in Natick. Yep. Like it's something I, I feel like has been, and you look at all different kind of people. Uh, this is something I feel like a lot of us can do it. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I looked and seeing, you know, different groups going, I'm not fast, I'm, yep. I'm, I'm just going to enjoy this marathon. Yep. Uh, but looking at different people run and the energy yeah. and the positivity and, you know, despite of, of what might be going on in their life or disability, 
you can also find your joy in something rather than focusing on the tough part that's going in your life. So yeah. I, I look at it as kind of also an escape for me uh, to get my positive energy back if I'm going if I'm going through a tough time. Nice. Yeah. So, nice. Yeah. Good. Good. So you're running to help raise funds yes. for Ashland. Yes. What, what one organization other than area, because I know you hope that funds go to there, um, what other organizations do you hope get some of the funds from you? Actually, uh, Ash- we have uh, most of the funds are going to Ashland Emergency Fund, like I listed before, Ashland Youth and Family Services, um, Community Enrichment Library. Yep. I mean, guys, who doesn't like the Ashland <laughs> Library? You know, it feels so intimate in there. The kids have their space. Yeah. You know, it's safe. So uh, community outreach programs, uh, the senior citizens. I mean, whoever knows me, I love, you know, I've worked with the elderly for over 20 years. So just knowing that there is service for them there yeah. to uh, prevent things like isolation, to be able to you know, the transportation, they're able to pick them up from their homes and bring them to the senior center or different appointments. For me, that's, you know, I don't know, it touches me differently because I've worked with the elderly for a long time and isolation, you know, is one of the things that, you know, causes other things. Uh, Then there's fire and police. I actually learned that the fire and police, they work with uh, the youth Mm -hmm. to firefighting camps Kids and also anti-bullying. So they, they used to have uh, the women's. They uh, Lynn Morahan, our mm. uh, assistant chief, used yeah. to have a camp for women. Unfortunately, I don't know that she's going to do that again. But some okay. of our funds, some of the funds from the runners, sometimes used went to, to help that. Okay. But also, they have other fire prevention events, and some of our funds go right. to help them as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. And then the anti-bullying. I guess I read about that. That yep. the fire and police they work on that yep. with the high school yeah. and middle school yeah. kids. So that's important and things that impact our communities directly and, you know, and beyond. Yeah. And then the food pantry, obviously, guys, you know. Yeah. Services, food insecurities and yeah. other supplies that families need. Mm-hmm. So I've... If I have to pick any particular program, I mean, I, I, I Unfortunately, feel don't. Unfortunately, you don't get to I pick. Don't. You, just, you just give the funds and then... Correct. Yeah. Correct. You so raise the funds, we I, say I, that. Right. So I... I'm supporting all the programs. Good. Like I'm, you know, Good. I'm happy that the Select Board yep. and the Town of Ashland, you guys uh, have this great idea, and I'm happy to be part of it, and I'm honored. And also, it has its challenges, but I mean, look at what's where the money is going. Yeah. You know, so. so we're now at about 22 days to the marathon. What is your... Jeez. <laughs> Whoa. <Okay. laughs> Yolanda. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit more, right? Because it's April 15th, and so maybe it's, maybe it's 30 days because it's the still. Th- okay. still. Uh, <laughs> so what is your training schedule going to be like between now and Monday, the 15th of April? That's a great question. As I say, like, I don't have any, like, personal trainer or Mm -hmm. any of the special perks some people have. So I joined some groups like Team Framingham and also Heartbreak Hill group. They have a running group. And Ashland, I did start, like, a little group thing for us to Mm -hmm. everybody to just kind of put messages there. What they're doing. What they're doing. So I've been learning from everybody. And right now... Uh, we kind of, last week we did like 18 miles uh, uh, from start line to Brabant in Newton. Okay. And next week, what I've not learned from teams and which what I'm also trying to do is one or t- two other long runs. Yep. And then just taper down. Yep. And make sure you continue to, you know. Have you, have you hit, tried Heartbreak Hill yet? Yes, I did. Try? Oh, okay. Yes, I what did. What was that like? It was, it was... Tough, but actually there's another hill in I think Wellesley that I, for, for me personally, I feel it was the hardest. Oh, interesting. Because it just goes on. It's not very oh, steep, okay. but it just goes on forever. So I'm like, <laughs> geez. So for me personally, that was almost harder. But yeah. Heartbreak Hill, I can understand and appreciate because when you run, after running all those miles at mile 20, mm-hmm. then you start Heartbreak Hill. Right. That's what kills you. But it's all, I don't and, know, it's and I learned today that you do Heartbreak Hill, and then there's supposedly a nice little downhill, yeah. and then the uphill before you finish on Hereford. 
is what I've been told from an, from an event today. So I guess that's yeah. something to look forward to. Yeah, there's a, when, I, when I did Heartbreak Hill, I stopped right before the little downhill. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I'm not very, very familiar with the route yet. I did oh, okay. run to the finish line yeah. once. So I'm just learning the road. But yeah. I know once you finish Heartbreak Hill, it's not that, it's not that bad yeah. after that. Yeah, fun, um, fun. But. So you said you're looking to do a time about six hours, right? Under, Is that what you're, I'm, under six? I'm hoping okay. for under six. Okay, so when you're doing these longer training miles, what's yeah. about what rate are you going? Well, I've done my speed. I think I'm about five okay. or something, so... We'll see. Okay. We'll see. Because in Ashland, again, it's about you having to, fun. You may have to stop along oh, the way. I'm stop- There's no question about that. I'm stopping. Okay. So if you're going to be stopping along the way, what should people have for you as you go by? Anything you know, in particular? Well, actually, uh, runners, one thing, I think one thing uh, one of the runners told me is that first of all, to be able to find your friends and yeah. family that are supporting you to say hi or maybe a quick picture. Yeah. If they have a balloon or something that oh, okay. shows your name and they let you know ahead of time where yeah, they're going to be. Okay. So you can, because it's a whole bunch of people at the yes. start line. Yes. And Ashland, we're almost still kind of. together. Yeah. So you start, you waste a lot of time trying to figure it out. So if I know ahead that Yolanda is going to be by. Yeah. Uh, Typically we're at Marathon Delhi. So. Marathon. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Okay, so now I know. So if I know that you're going to be at Marathon Delhi, I'll plan ahead of time to kind of start and be on the well. And and we've been told that it's best to be on the right side anyway Mm. by that curve because if you're on the left side, you have to run a little further. Run a little further. You see, I'm learning some tips. (laughs) I'm learning some tips. Like this is great. (laughs) You know. So yeah. So that's what I plan to do. So in Ashland, I'm definitely going to lose maybe. Maybe eight minutes or something, yeah. and which is worth it because it's right. it's about you know me having fun, yep. raising funds, and also you know interacting and thanking people that have been there for me. So. And are you are you working or training with any other Ashland runners so that you can run together for the route or not really? Yeah, so I started a group text, yep. so we'll be, everybody posts in there what they're going to be doing. Okay, um, and we meet up if we can. So I have run with. Um, I think the last time we did a group, I ran with Justin. Hi, Justin. <laughs> I mean, Justin. And so we still continue to post in there what we do. Nice. So if I know about what another, like, team Framingham or uh, Heartbreak is doing. Right, you try to join I put those it in runs. There. Yeah. Yeah. So I put it in the group and mm-hmm. tell them, guys, this weekend I'm doing this. If you guys want to join oh, in. nice. So they, they do the same. So actually we haven't had, like, a group run okay. together. yeah. I think it would be great if we can try yeah, to. Yeah. Maybe after this, I'll post something and say, guys, let's try to run maybe five miles together. Right. right. It would be really great. Yeah. Because I, I see with Team Framingham, this uh, such a nice energy. Yeah. Because they meet together. Yeah. Uh, and they're really inclusive. So I yeah. appreciate that. That's um, nice. So, yeah. So and, and what do you expect to be doing Tuesday, April 16th? Huh. The day after the marathon. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, I'm going to be very sore, so I think I'm going to be, uh, what do the kids call it, what is it, uh, rolling? Oh, rolling, Rolling yeah. and icing yeah, and yep, yep. all that recovery, uh, that's, I think that's one thing I'm going to be right. doing, and hydrating, you know, yeah. doing all the things to recover. Yeah. Recovery has been a challenge, but I'm getting better at it. Okay. Um, you, were, you were saying that. So when you say recovery <laughs> has been a challenge, so you do a long run, yeah. and then recovering from that run has been has been challenging. Yes, yeah. Um, but again, it's learning. And the good thing is, you know, as they say sometimes, even a younger child can beat yeah. the drums and you dance to it. Yep. So my kids, I've learned from some things from my kids. Like they'll tell me, one time I was telling my daughter, maybe I should take some medicine. I'm so sore. Like when I first started training, yeah, yeah. mommy, tough it out like we do. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not your age. <laughs> no, but they told me things what they do, you know, because yeah. they're all in the cross and right, so right. rolling and all these things. And I've tried icing. Yep. Ice baths, I'm like... Uh, oh, ice baths? Oh, I don't know about those. you got to be really strong to do those. Yeah. I, I give it up. I give it up. <laughs> I, I was... No. <laughs> but I do ice, but... So um, so with all this training and this, this commitment, is there anything you've learned from doing yes. this? That's a... Yeah, that's a great question. I, I feel uh, 
both physically and mentally for me, uh, I feel like my spirits are up. And uh, physically, you might think that you're fit, but actually until you start running or doing this extra, pushing yourself the next mm -hmm. out of your comfort zone, which is definitely out of my comfort zone, this Boston Marathon. And then you're like, after the training, you're forced, it has told me, you're forced to live healthier life, a healthier life, I should say. Mm. Um, something I just discovered, because when you don't sleep well, or you're not eating the right things, you're going to pay when you're training, if yes. you have to run those 10 miles or 15. So that has told me that if you pick up an activity or a healthier habit, it leads to more healthier habits um, and discipline as well. Yep. So that's one thing I've learned because I realized, oh, I didn't sleep and tomorrow I'm running. That's a problem. I need to figure it out. Yeah. Well, I didn't eat the right thing. So I didn't, you know, yeah. So what, what has been the food that has helped you the most as you're training for the, for the longer runs and then for the marathon oh. itself? I want to say I'm still, learn I'm, st I'm still learning. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's what you said, almost a month in. Yeah, almost a month left. So I'm still learning. Uh, I heard people say you have to eat a heavy meal like carbs the day before. So I'm trying to think what I'm going to be eating. Maybe some rice and, I don't know, some soup or something. <laughs> but people say, uh, like some other runners, experienced runners, they've told me peanut, peanut, peanut butter, butter, sandwich, or... Almond. So mm. I've done almond yep. maybe before. Um, what else? And they have some gels that yep. I'm learning about now. Mm -hmm. And you have to try the gels. Don't wait for the marathon Right, day. you got to try them before. Some of them can make you sick. Yep. So I've been experiencing, with, experimenting with those. Yep. Um, different fluids like, you know, the Gatorade and all these other things. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so special food I haven't really nailed down, okay. but I do try to eat as healthy as I can. Okay. And do you know what your number is yet? Do you know your number? No. Okay. Uh, we all, again, it's funny, like, Ashland, I'm not the only first runner. I think there are like four of us. A few, it's their first time, so we're all asking okay. ourselves, when we get the number, where do right. we go? Right, right. And they say, I think, the end of this month, Yeah. we go to get the number. Well, typically it's so, the weekend just before the marathon. Okay. So the marathon yeah. is Monday the 15th, and mm -hmm. they have a runner's exhibition yeah, yeah. that is happening. I believe it's the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday yeah. just before the marathon. Okay. So. All right. Well, I'm excited. And, and have you that. started planning what you're going to wear or not quite yet? Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see this nice jacket. <laughs> I'm planning to wear this jacket. It's lightweight. It has enough pockets. I already... Uh, tried, practiced with it. Mm -hmm. It has enough pockets for snacks. And oh, good. I'm going to have some white chocolate. Uh, thanks to you. you <laughs> Buy that. Um, some white chocolate and other little snacks. So it has enough space. And then it keeps you a little warm, but yep. not too warm. Good. So definitely I'm going to wear this jacket. And anybody in Ashland that wants to make a funny hat, I'll wear it. <laughs> funny headband. Headband, actually. There you go. Because that way there it doesn't fall up. So yeah, anybody good. that's... Art is creative, can make one, something for Ashland, I wear it. Great. And then the outfits, these are the shoes, orange Great. shoes, I love orange. Nice. So. so if someone would like to donate to help you raise your $3,000, how can they Ooh. go about and do that? Yeah, thank you. So uh, I think the easiest way I've seen is just Google Ash Town of Ashland, Boston Marathon. Okay. It will come right up and it will just bring you to the runners and it has... Um, Donate button right there. Uh, it will take you that's like the city hall mm -hmm. system, yep. and you select the runner, Margaret Mosoke, and you know, and you donate there. Um, I, I, I just want to thank uh, you know everyone, the individuals and businesses that have donated so far. Yeah. Um, I'm like I have a third left, a third of my three thousand okay. left. That's not bad. Yes, so. Uh, Please go there and donate and, you know, let's uh, continue to make Ashland a great town as, nice. you know, like it is. And I would love to thank like some businesses that have Go know, for there. it. If there's businesses yes. who have supported you, yes. let, uh, our, let our residents know. Because as right. we know, if there are businesses that are supporting yeah. 
our runners, they're yeah. suppor supporting our community, Correct. and we can go in and support them. Yes, absolutely. It goes all around, right? It does. Uh, it's it's yeah. circular. Yeah, so actually, um, when, I, when I knew that I had to fundraise 3000 you know, I started by asking friends and family, uh, but I'm like, what can I do to, like... So I decided to... Uh, that printed out the letter that we get from the town mm -hmm. and take it to different businesses. Over 10 businesses I took to and uh, s um, Mexico, uh, Mexico City, City yeah. Yeah, got back to me and uh, shout out nice. <laughs> and also uh, Blush Bouquet. Yep. So, uh, uh, you know, agreed to collaborate with me and yep. uh, we fundraised and we did well. So I would go and promote their businesses. Yep. And we then most recently we did Sub Zero. That was the kids kept telling me we need to visit Sub Zero, but I'd never gotten the chance. Mm -hmm. So I actually met uh, Lauren at when I was promoting La Blush. Okay. And she's like, Could you come to my business? So I went there too yep. and we had fun. Um, what I've realized actually doing this work, two things. Uh, by promoting the businesses, they're getting new customers, people that didn't know, because mm -hmm. some people came in and they're like, this is my first time. We yeah. saw the posts in the Ashland group and we're like, let's come check it out and support. Fun. So hopefully you guys continue to support these businesses, <laughs> you know, uh, in town. And then also what I learned is that some people were saying they didn't know some of this about some of the services yeah. and the programs that Ashland is supporting. Mm -hmm. So... So I was able to communicate to people that way as well so they nice. know about this program. So I've, that's some positive that came out yeah. of this that I, yeah. I didn't even know. Um, and then also just want to thank, thank other businesses like St. His Kitchen, he donated. And 126 Self Storage, Mike Ken, he also donated nice. to all of us. Um, and, you know... Um, everybody else, I, I, I don't want to mention any names, other yep. names individually, uh, but I, I just want to thank that Ashland community and people who actually don't even live in town. Nice. Because if I'm hungry in Ashland and you're hungry in Framingham, we're all human beings. It's the same we thing. help each other out. They help each other out. And that's what I've seen. Nice. Different towns have donated to me, to my fundraiser. Nice. Well. So nice. It's, been, it's really been fun. Well, it's been great talking to you about this. And I am one of those people who I love to support the runners. If you would like to support Margaret or any of our runners, yes. you can go to the Ashland Town website and all the runners are there. And if you want to give them each a little bit, it would be helpful. Right. They each have to raise $3,000. Yeah. We did get two extra numbers this year from the Boston Athletic Association. We got 24 instead of 22, which was nice. And we have a company oh. that we work with that we give 10 to. So that's, they raise that's funds and, and do that. So, okay. uh, but all the funds that get raised, as Maggie has said, go through our Boston Athletic Select Board account process where we, you apply for the grant and we provide grants to different organizations here in town to help right. them do, whether it's sports or activities at the library or some arts events. So it's it, uh, Ashland Day, things like that, summer concerts. So thank you for running and oh. taking the time. Thank you to your family for yes. supporting you to run because <laughs> I know it takes a lot of time yeah. to train. And just thank you for what you do for Ashland because as people always ask me, well, what do you love about Ashland? And mm -hmm. I say the people and the volunteers. Yes. And it's amazing what a wonderful community we have. We're lucky. And people like you that support it and do what you do wow. is what makes it that much better. Wow. Thank you so much. Now, before <laughs> I let you... Oh, well, no, I've asked you this question. I was going to yeah. ask you something about yeah. yourself, but we've already done that because yeah, you've already been here at Around the Clock. So yeah. Yeah. thank you so, for much, so much for coming on and telling us your story. Uh, as I said, we'll probably be at Marathon Delhi, or we'll let you okay. know where because uh, we love yeah. it when our runners... You know, stop by and tell us how they're feeling now granted you're only a few miles in but yeah. <laughs> we can maybe give you an extra boost to keep going absolutely and somebody thank you so much thank you so much Yolanda good. for having you're me you're very here. welcome and, uh, good luck good luck with the rest of your fundraising and your training and if not before we'll see you on Marathon Monday sure sure and um, <laughs> people told me to put some like my name on yes jacket yeah, or something yeah. so they can yell out yeah. your name and yes. give you some oh, energy yeah. that's always fun which yeah. I've, I've done it on the other side but yeah, I want to hear it on the You want people to say, go Maggie, go. <laughs> yeah, that's the energy I actually felt. Like, I feel, yeah, I can't wait to, 
for Ashland as a team to run together. Yeah. But what I noticed with other runners, because we've run here like more than 100 people, and yeah. as you're slowing down, some sl slowing down, somebody mm -hmm. comes behind you, yeah. and they're like, keep going, you got this, you got this. Nice. So it's really mentally helpful. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good. So, well, good luck. Well, and thank thanks you. again for coming on Around the Clock. Well, thank you so much for having me here at Around the Clock. That rags up, wraps up this segment with yeah. Maggie Musoke, and we hope that she and the rest of the Ashland runners have the right day to run on right. <laughs> weather-wise <laughs> on Marathon Monday, which will be April 15th. And thanks for watching this segment of Around the Clock.